and welcome back to another episode of Pro Clubs Weekly. I'm your host, as always, 8Ball, and as, as always, I am joined in the gantry tonight by the one, the only, Domino! Domino, how the devil are you, good friend? 8Ball, I don't know why, but it feels long. It feels like we've been away from a proper commentary video and not streaming, not deeping into a different project. I'm happy to be home, 8Ball. I'm happy to be home, back with the PFL, with... April, tell us the teams we've got on. We have, and you are right for once, we have got PFL action, Excelsior Rotterdam against FC Power. We're sad we couldn't do the live stream this week, but this oh, no. is a very, very happy second place because we still get to be here, we still get to witness it, and it goes out on YouTube, so everyone still gets to watch. Domino, yeah, we absolutely love, we absolutely love PFL and we're glad to be back because this is their English Elite League, their Premier League <laughs> and we know the standard, we know the standard of players, we know the standard of teams, we had the championship on last week, mm -hmm. Domino, tell us what you're expecting from this game tonight. Mate, the championship is unreal and I'm so excited for the Premier League division to kick off. Do you know what, and it's just a bit of PFL mate, because not only is it a high quality league, the owners class and the community have been great to us and we couldn't be happier to come here and bring you another PFL game and look, we're here to stay because, like I said, so much love from the community, from the players, from the staff, the managers, the league organisers and I'm happy to sit back here, mate, and watch some good football entail. What the kits we got, April? So we've got Power, FC Power, in the white and black uh, from right to left. And Excelsior are in the snazzy orange and black kits. I like that a lot. <laughs> and they are left to right. Uh, and, I mean, it's first game of the season, first and foremost. So welcome back, everyone. Um, running off mince pies and all that holiday weight, Domino. <laughs> uh, are you expecting a, a slow start because of that? Or are you expecting people to be chomping at the bit? Ready oh, to go? mate, it, it's an exciting time. Like, again, the first day of the season, the first couple of games of the season. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's no lull here. The boys are excited to go out to get some game time, to get some competitive game time under their belt. It'll bring a little bit of nerves, as it should do. Nerves are good for these kind mm -hmm. of games, but... They, they should be revved up and raring to go and look yeah. we, we are treating some half decent football here and we, we, we now know the league and now the standard and mate that's an intricate pass inside as well these boys are looking to cook early yeah yeah and it's it's quite long between seasons uh, I mean I think this ended just before Christmas as well so it's, it's been quite a while so yeah I would fully expect these guys to be chomping a bit ready to go and the early to and fro in the first 10 minutes has seen a lot of possession for power. Mm -hmm. Granted in their own half, but really interestingly, this half court press, this low block domino mm -hmm. from Excelsior. Talk to me about this. Yeah, I mean, it is a tactic to, again, conserve stamina. But in my mm -hmm. opinion, it's the more composed defending style. You don't want to press too early or too high or inefficiently. Mm -hmm that gives gaps in behind for teams to counter-attack. If you sit in your banks of four and yeah. again you wait for them to come to you and you man mark and you make it hard for them to play through you mm -hmm. you don't get the chances on the counters but you do make it very hard for a team to break you down and ultimately it will give you a chance on the counter. So mate I'm here for it and I don't think the pressing style is always correct and look these boys at Excelsior are sitting behind the ball like this. Look at this bags of four mate sitting there i don't think i you know the the hundreds of games we've covered i don't think we've ever seen a a more strict low block than this before yeah mate i, I, I welcome it because it's something brand new mm -hmm. and let's see if it pays dividends for them because when they do win it they look ready to spring but they're so far back that i'm not sure of their counter-attacking capabilities they don't look like they're looking to, to go too direct at the moment but hey I, I am ready to be proved wrong Domino yeah the, the only thing is that's a that's great a ball, ball. Ooh, lucky. Same time. the only thing about it again about this half court press against this solid banks of four is when mm -hmm. you do lose the ball and your play is out of position sometimes you don't know where to go whether to drop back in your position to go and press the man in front of you yeah. um, to try and win it back straight away. 
So hopefully they'll have a conversation about, again, the different strategies of defending in different circumstances. But I always find out when I ever played in situations or positions like that, in real life or virtually, that once you lose the ball in a position you're not expecting to, it kind of gets a little bit chaotic. And that's probably where power can capitalise them on. I like that. I like that analysis. I mean, if they carry on like this, they're going to have bags of stamina in this second half. So expect <laughs> them to come out of the blocks uh, should they need to do so. But, you know, if they, if they can sneak a goal, I mean, don't get me wrong, we haven't had a shot yet. Mm -hmm. but if they can sneak a goal and then sit back in this low block, th that's probably going to be a job done, Domo, because at the moment that's a ball as well. Uh, here is Zip Dip to the edge of the box, an additional pass, maybe not needed, but Robert does really well for power. Clears it and we're half an hour in and it's nil-nil. Yeah, I mean, good defending by the boys at power there because, look, they've had very little to do in in defence, if I'm honest with you. But they read it really well and they've lost here the ball Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, and the it, first time, or I say the second time they've got into a good position is because they pressed really high up, Domino. <laughs> well, to be fair, again, it, it could be a good tactic where you can chop and change it. Like I said, we don't know what they're... Yeah, yeah. Um, Excelsior's doing at the minute, but if they did want to ever just drop in that low block, like you said, and then all of a sudden, mm. on the whistle, just press very, very quickly on, it could be yeah. a really, really good tactic for them, confuse the opposition and make them, again, dance the beat of their tune. I mean, at the moment, the the best player on the park is the power centre-half. That could have easily been a foul. Uh, Robert, who is uh, preventing his team from being a goal down at the moment, I reckon. Um, trying to get oh, these wide players that's involved. Naughty. That's, that's, a, that's yeah. naughty. It was, a, it was somewhere between a really good pass and a hospital pass, but <laughs> his winger made the most of it, and they do get the free kick. Let's see if they can get something cooking from this. Yeah, it made it look slick, didn't it? Uh, go short, Ryan down the wing maybe not the right ball here come power can they counter attacks we've not seen too much of these guys going forward yet uh, fat seven down the wing bit of space for lol mate and working it nice actually with marrow in the center overlapping right back and matthew does That's exceptionally very, very well good. to cut that out because they were they were going through the gears there domino yeah absolutely mate and i do like how they switch it from right to left in oh great tackle yeah really good tackle yeah, switching it to right to left, to making shifting the team. Now, if mm -hmm. I was a team like Power, and we know this from, again, the, the real life football or virtual football, the best way to get a team out of that shape is by moving the ball from right to left quickly, get them to shift mm -hmm. across, and then find a ball in behind like they have done there. Has that got across? Oh, wow. <sighs> nearly, nearly. But yeah, the, the best way to get a team to break their positioning is by shifting the ball nice and quickly but they're on the counter attack here are uh, Excelsior yeah I think if they're going to get anything cooking this zip that looks like the player that might do it uh, he looks a bit tidy Marrow cuts it out and that will be half time Domino I'm going to say that this is a this is more like a chess match at this point Domino because it's two tactical um, styles that maybe are not kind of complementing each other in terms of attacking play. Mm -hmm. But if you're a purist, if you're a defensive person like yourself, Domino, yep. you must be salivated at this kind of football because the 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 tactical nous it requires to do this and the patience is like something I've never seen on clubs before. No, and it's one of those games, eight ball, that I people that are watching this game don't get it twisted this is high level this is high <laughs> high level and like you said it is a chess match the teams are trying to figure each other out in different ways how power are going to break down this team's organized structure um it, it, it's all the little nuances that's happening in this game there is quality in abundance with the players but the style's not gelling which makes it more enthralling for me personally to see who can break the deadlock. And when the deadlock does get breaking, if it does, who changes first? Who blinks first? It, yeah, it's very, very exciting for me personally, 8 ball. Um, and to be fair, for me, that first half flew by because I was just looking at how Excelsior defended, Powell attacked, the, the, the chance that kept coming in. But ultimately, one team's going to have to cave to try and open up this game. And you'll see which team wants it more really in the second half. 
it's on an absolute knife edge at the moment as it drops to long mate oh it took a deflection Probably amara does really really well there good reactions from the man who fizzes it out to matthew from the hands and he sets the dangerous zip dip on his way looking for a strike partner but of course it's robert is there colossal man at the back and i mean like i said dom it's on a knife edge who do you think putting your neck on the line is going to get that first breakthrough i think the first goal is going to come quickly from quickly a call it should have said power right what? there mate i like and what what i said was completely wrong as well because i said the first Shot. goal <laughs> the first goal is going to come from a nice. mistake somewhere and a big mistake that wasn't mate that was good play from power um, and the Fortis itself so couldn't get themselves back in that organised, well organised shape to um, yeah. yeah to, to, and to you deal can with see that. from the slide tackle there they already look frustrated with mm -hmm. this, um, and they did get undone by that exact same ball there to um, Adala on that right hand side. Whether he's playing right mid or right wing back, I'm not sure. But you know when you set up like they've set up with that low block and they get undone with just that one sweeping 60, 70 yard ball. As captain, as manager, surely you must be absolutely raging with that. Yeah, you've got to be because, like, the, again, like the low block, what it gives you is organisation, and it, it, mm -hmm. it, the one thing it prevents you from is that long ball over the top because you are sitting deeper. You are not yep. then looking at that space. You should be picking up the runs. It was a great play from Power because Power ha didn't do anything like that in the first half. They didn't attempt to do anything yeah. like that. Yeah. So. I mean, well done from the boys or the manager or the person that said, look, let's try something different. What we're currently doing is not working. Let's try a little yep. bit more direct. And look, they paid off there. And they are through here again. And it's a great shot and a great save. Tomorrow, big save. Big save. Yeah, yeah. Lol, mate, looks like he's a... Oh, my goodness. Ghost penalty. Ghost penalty. Down the middle, Domino. Oh, <gasps> oh. he saved it once. Here he saved we go. it again. Here we go. I mean, yeah, big save, which won't count on stats, but... He just needed to so, hold it. Just needed so to hold unlucky. it. so unlucky. He didn't so need to play unlucky. it. He didn't need it to And play all it. of a sudden, this game sparks into action. Domino, big penalty save. Um, and we don't know what the penalty was for. We might have to watch that one back. Um, but, yeah, Excelsior really close on that counter-attack as well. And we're talking, you know centimeters and again that Ab abdallah ball to that right hand side is on every time here comes amaro dinks it into the danger man oh my god, oh save my again. god. i just think the body position was well. all wrong and i don't think he turned it yeah. quick enough and he had to snapshot but the keeper made a great decision coming out and i didn't i didn't even know he saved angle. it fantastic save yeah, yeah he smothered him smothered him because it wasn't even action like the keeper made the own action he did there was no animation there the keeper yeah. made the animation and it was it was a great save I think Excelsior should capitalise on this now. The momentum's with them after yeah, the penalty yeah. save, the double save. And let's get this out first and foremost. Yeah. Amaro there uh, having a really good game, really good second half. And yeah, going going a goal down just means Excelsior need to come out and mm -hmm. play. Which I, you know, I don't think that's their game plan. I think their game plan is to sneak that goal mm -hmm. and then sit in that low block. Those two banks. And, yeah, we're, we're going to see a different beast uh, this second half. And, again, they're pressing from the front in the final third. Oh, great tackle on the edge of the box. And, yeah, we're, we're seeing a different Excel skill this second mm -hmm. half. And it's, it's really interesting to see. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Because, look, they, they, they have to come out and play. They're going to have to press. The one thing the press gives them is the team can advance quicker. But if they do, if they miss a chance, they do get the ball back. Ooh. Great save again. And I am... Goes free kick ghost free kick let's see if they can make anything off this keeper this keeper looks in the mood mate I know he's already conceded yeah. a goal but he looks in the mood yeah he is uh, one of the best players on the park at the moment but can power double their lead with this free kick great save by Amaro drops who's going to get their first Matthew well who was dropping back onto the line which I think is a little bit naughty naughty but <laughs> he makes the clearance. Mara with the early ball, and they are in trouble. Heads it across. Habajevko does really well. I think the other striker gave him the decoy. He probably should have gone for it himself. Chose not to, Agreed. so that's a great Oh, here we go. Through. He zip dips in. What can he do? He's gone top bins. 
headed down to Fano. Oh, block. We've gone end block. to end. I don't know why it's not a corner. Might come off their own man. Domino. I do think that their chance there, eight ball, Yeesh. and we always tell people they're in danger of not pulling the trigger right at that end. At that time, yep. the the striker gave him the option, freed him up for the goal. The, the shot was on, in my opinion, there instead of going across. But they are well, that was that was their best chance. That is the difference between good players and elite players, mm. Domino. Like the, those those chances that look like half chances. The, the elite players will will put those away, whereas you know, we, we've just seen it blocked by his own teammate, which is horrifically unfortunate. But yeah, it, I think with a with an elite striker up there, we're we're calling this game one all now. We're going into mm -hmm. the last ten minutes. Uh, speaking of elite though, Domino, this long mate looks like a tasty player. Yeah. Power this second half. I mean, Good oh man. my god, oh, they played through the third. Amara again, best player on the park, only just because power. Are cooking here with this. They've got too many players to name. Yeah, yeah, they, they uh, do. And, they've really grown. I in the could, I could not, I could not exactly. I could not have called this half happening in the first half. No, so no, we're no. have another chess like, match. Uh, uh, this half has been unbelievably end to end entertaining, and he's took it again. Eight ball, eight ball. Just give the man a golden glove now. That's unreal. It's, Excelsior. It's, it's, Excelsior it's, it's, don't need. They don't need a low block, and they don't need. They don't need men at the back when they've got this goalkeeper in this form. It's unreal. Mate, the guys are just let just play two at the back. Play two <laughs> at the back. <laughs> They're gonna have to do it now, eight ball, because well, they've got five virtual minutes and they have that's got it, possession. That's it. I mean, to be fair, you you can't criticize in this second half for for not being expansive. They've gone for it. They've mm -hmm. created chances. It's just. Power have arguably created better chances, but also defended really well as well. Yeah, yeah. Pa Power have have definitely. They've definitely <laughs> won this half. Good feedback, Dala. Ladyship. Don't worry about Amara it. In. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. No, just, Don't worry just about give it. up. We'll just call it. We'll call it one nil. <laughs> yeah, we'll, Ever, we'll get to the. We we'll get to the pub early, and uh, yeah, Amara. We need to see his stats after this game because uh, he has racked up the saves. Uh, Abdallah, tasty player, swings it in. Uh, really does it's well, the last chance to lose here, Abel. Oh, yeah, again has had a good game. Picks the right pass as well. Here's Abdallah into the back post. Mohamed cuts it back. Long mate finishes off a perfect move. Domino, this team have been quality. What a good, good watch. Abel, that whole second half, Power have. I, I don't know what happened, mate, but they've turned the game on their head. They played unbelievable football. And yeah, mate, we're we're here now, and it is two nil, and that is a game set and matched. And Domino, that is game over. It is two nil to power, Excelsior. I mean, they had a game plan, they stuck to it, it didn't work, and now I'm thinking they spent that forty five minutes, that first forty five minutes, not creating all that much. Mm -hmm. Are they going to look back? and think, do you know what, we sh probably should have gone for it earlier on, or is it just a case of they were unlucky to concede the first goal, if they'd got the first goal it would have looked a bit different, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I, I think the shape that they set up with, Power had a real big problem with it, and with a game of chess like that, you're waiting for someone, because it's a stalemate, it's a complete 50-50, it was a genuine stalemate. It's what team was going to make the bold move first that's going to force an action out of the other team. And mm -hmm. Power done that. Power decided, well, instead of playing it a little tick attack around the back four and playing it in through the middle because we're getting crowded out, they've got 11 man behind the ball all in their half and not getting the space. They were picking up the ball and they were playing these expansive balls over the top. And that caused a little bit of chaos in the Excelsior rankings. And mate, they got the goal. And after they got the goal, I do think it was then a stick or twist. Like, again, everything's a chess game. Then Excelsior was like, right, are we going to stick to, again, this low block? We can't score without the ball. We're going to have to put on some form of pressure. And when they'd done that, I think Power then really took over. Once the game became more open and fluid, Power really took hold of the game and eight ball. If it weren't for the keeper, it would be into the four or five. That's a very good point, actually. It was it was a game of two halves, and it's probably mm -hmm. the the biggest game of two halves that we've yeah. had on the channel. So, 
I couldn't have called that. And like Domino said, I think if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, Amaro, yeah, we would have been looking at a cricket score there, which which is strange because Excelsior did look like a, a really good defensively strong team and we know why they came out in that second half. But yeah, power for some reason just came out. Then maybe they got a bollock in at halftime. <laughs> they came out and they turned the screw and they just looked like a different beast. So yeah, agreed. fair play to both teams. I mean, that created a, a, a good spectacle for us to watch. Something really, really interesting. And yeah, as always, guys, PFL, another fantastic advertisement for your league and another fantastic advertisement Absolutely. for clubs in general. Absolutely. So, boys and girls, children of all ages, get your Man on the Match votes down in the comments. Please do like, please do subscribe. It really does help the channel. And join the Discord. We have lots of fun in there most of the time, sometimes, maybe. <laughs> Domino, pleasure to be back with PFL, pleasure to be back with yourself, and uh, I'll sign off, that's good night from me. Yeah, as always, PFL, Executor, Power, appreciate you guys coming on the channel, appreciate the game, appreciate the content, you never let us down, and again, you continue that streak of never letting us down, it was a great game, pleasure to be back, 8-Ball, and that is it for us, the boys at PC Dubs, enjoy your evening guys, see you later.